Hello everyone, Plushy Animal Adventures here uh, with the new doll. Now, uh, I just recently posted the box opening, but I've actually had her for two months. Um, so, yeah, but I didn't have the money for the body yet. Um, because I need a new body because these are not full arm, not a full arm body and it is a full armed kit. So, yeah, we just, just now got the body. Uh, thankfully, this does seem to be the right size. It might be a bit smaller than the current one. It's hard to tell since it's not stuffed, uh, but it it looks like it'll be perfect. So, yeah. Um, I have gotten requests before to show how to disassemble and reassemble dolls. Usually Paradise Galleries dolls, because that's what I've, <laughs> I've mostly done. But, uh, oh, my mouse is out. Hey, teddy bear. Sorry, you can't, you can't see him, but he doesn't normally come out. He's so cute. He's very, um, skittish, though. Uh, so, sorry. Uh, Paradise Galleries dolls are, are what I usually do. The basic concept is still the same, though. Um, and there's, there's lots of videos about, um, taking apart and putting back together reborn dolls. But I thought maybe my subscribers would like to see how I do it, and I'm... Disclaimer, I'm not saying this is the only way to do it, or this is the best way to do it, this is how I do it. And that's all I'm saying. Now, there, I might do things wrong, but it works fine for me, so... Unless I mess up, which hopefully I don't. I have messed up before. <laughs> so, anyways. So, I think step one is going to be taking her off this body. Um, we'll take this nice diaper off so we can use that later. I shall set this down there. Now, it looks like she was put to the, together with strings uh, to this body. So that actually makes things easier usually. Sometimes it doesn't. Depends on how well tied they are. And this actually looks really good. But sometimes you can just pop it right off because usually strings don't hold it as well. I don't like strings uh, when I'm putting mine together. I've never gotten the knot tight enough. So we don't want to cut the body or the vinyl. So but I think I see an opening. Hmm. You know what? I probably could get my tweezers in there. So this is my reborning kit. I have several little tools, my little box of reborning supplies. And by reborning, I mean taking the, them apart and putting them back together. I don't paint currently. So I have these little tweezers that are really good for gripping things. Yep, like that. And I didn't even have to cut. The last uh, doll that I took apart with strings, I didn't have to cut either. So. Now be very careful. I might reweight the limbs. I might not. I haven't decided yet. We will see. Might want to get a look on at what's inside them first. Oh, don't rub your head against the box. That's how you get marks. Uh, let's see. Sorry, my guinea pigs are growling in the background. They just moved in together. And they're still working out their differences. There we go. Ta-da! Two legs down. So, oh, this one's tied differently. Yeah, I want to save this body because I, um, I was actually looking at a kit or something the other day, and I was like, oh wait, that's it's the same type as it 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 needs the same type of body as I have with this doll. So I'm gonna use this body if I can for something else down the road. I forget what it was. I've already forgotten what it was, but I was just, that was just yesterday. Anyone who's watching my Instagram, uh, would have seen yesterday. Well, I don't know when this is going up, but, um, uh, I was posting pictures of my little road trip with Aiden. My mom and I, um, kind of made a doll for my grandma. It's getting caught on my nails because my nails need filing. Um, we made a doll for my grandma. Uh, well, we took one of her dolls, which I just found out this morning. 
uh, what it's called. It's like a My Real Baby, My Real Baby doll or something. It's from the 80s. Uh, Hasbro made it. So she had this doll for since the 80s, for as long as I could remember. I remember going with my grandma to uh, get a wig for her, uh, for the doll, because the, uh, the original hair... I don't know what happened to the original hair. I don't even remember what the original hair looked like. But, because I was like seven when my grandma and my cousin and I went to this, like this person's house and we got a wig for her. But the wig was attached, ba uh, I, I think my grandpa attached it and it wasn't attached very well. And it just, it wasn't, and um, the limbs I think had sat in the sun a little bit so they had turned chalk white. And my grandma always sat, yeah, I don't even have to, yeah. My grandma only sat that doll uh, in this chair that used to be my chair, actually. My mom got it at a garage sale, so it used to be my chair. So this doll would sit in their house in this little rocking chair that used to be mine. But she couldn't sit up because that doll wasn't made to sit up. So long story short, now that I've finished the limbs, uh, we took the head off of the body that that doll came on got rid of the wig, uh, t my mom touched up the face with a bit of paint, uh, got new limbs from Bountiful Baby, got a body that goes with those limbs, um, my mom painted the limbs, I put together the body, my mom doesn't like to do that, or she, uh, she doesn't think she's good at it, so, and she thinks I'm really good at putting dolls together, so, I, I don't know about that, <laughs> I try, I make them where I like it, but, Grammy seemed to like to like her. Um, so yeah. Okay. So I guess the first step is going to be: Do we want to change the legs at all? Because I like to attach the legs before I do anything else. I like to see if they're a uh, pretty similar weight. So I have my scale here. You're not going to be able to see it with this angle. I'm just going to set it on the scale and see: 231 grams for that one. There is quite a difference, actually. This is 57. I am not really feeling a difference, though. I really don't want to mess with the limbs. If, if I decide later, um, I can I can change it. But um, let's see. There's not. There's not much. Oh, there is a bit of... Okay. My mom's better at this part than I am. But, wait. There's a... So, I'm changing it a bit because I hear a shaking movement in the leg when I shake it. And I don't like that. Um, so, I'm just gonna... What the heck? Where did this come from? A stuffing stick! What the heck? This was in my... <laughs> This was in my bag of polyfill. I could have been using this. Oh wait, it's just a stick. I have sticks like this, but still. <laughs> ah. Goodness. Ah. It, it's a bit different. I'll use it. I can use it for this. Kind of. So, by the way, I have two types of stuffing, of fluffy stuffing. I have polyfill, the original polyfill, which is very, it has a very rough uh, texture. It doesn't, even through the bodies, it doesn't feel as soft as silky soft. It is very, oh, sorry. It is very, very soft. It has a lot of give, luxurious silky feel. It, it is, it's beautiful. So what I do is I put the not so nice polyfill in limbs, and I put the, uh, the other one in um, in the body. So it looks like this is that's what was used for this one too. So I'm just gonna. A 
stick does help a bit. Okay. There's some room there, so I'm gonna. But um, so in case you don't have uh, one that's already been weighted, you what I normally do is you take uh, glass beads, which looks like sand. Um, I often call it sand. It is not sand, though. Take glass beads and you pour it into the limbs uh, and, you know, keep an eye on the weight. Make sure you get the weight that you want. Um, and then you stuff this on top to keep it from moving and to fill the rest of the empty space. Okay. Now, for the head, I normally put it in a little... Um, I'll show you. We have... This is a great thing to use for Reborns, by the way. Um, these are... Oh, shoot. I don't know anything about hosiery. Um, one size... Uh, knee highs. These are knee high hose. Um, and so you don't have to cut them uh, depending on what size you want. And there's a lot of them. So I normally put that in the head so it keeps all of the... I don't know if that's what they did. I kind of like the way the head's weighted. It's got a lot of weight in the back. So I'm going to keep the head the way it is uh, regardless. It's probably weighted that way, though. Yeah, I feel the bag, I think. Yeah, that's a bag. Yeah. Seeing if there's a weird smell. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. So yeah, I normally, I put that in the head. I um, would wrap that around there with the thing in the head and then just pour it in and, you know, see how much I want it to weigh. So yeah, that's what we're going to do with the body, but we're not there yet. Okay, this one still has a lot of room. I like to stuff it pretty tight. That might not be a good thing. But I just don't like the idea that there could be a bit of movement. So. Yep. Okay, now let's reweigh them, see. 35. This one was a lot more than that. Okay, there's about 30 grams of difference. I don't really notice it though, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now the arms. I don't want the arms to weigh too much. Oh, whoa. There's it feels like a big difference between the arms, so 129. 128. Okay, well, I'm wrong. I am very wrong. Could have sworn that one weighed like 30 grams less, but oh well. Um, I think I'm going to leave that. So, the next step is we're going to attach the legs to the body. So, I'm just going to take these strings out and hope that I put the zip ties in going the right direction because I have done it wrong many times before. I like to keep the strings because I use them for certain things. Uh, nothing really goes to waste here when I'm uh, making... Oh, goodness. Uh, when I'm re-reborning. Re <laughs> I don't know if giving a new body counts as reborning, but I like to think it does. It's giving them new life. Alright, so I think my zip ties were in here. Indeed, they are... So we just bought a bunch of zip ties from Bountiful Baby, but uh, you <laughs> right under the camera I have a big thing of zip ties for other things, and you could use regular zip ties that you get at the store. They're just not they're going to stick out more. My um, reborn puppy Riley was put together with zip ties that are just regular zip ties, and I'm not a fan, um, but. It, you know, you do you. It, if you're making a doll for yourself, like, do do whatever you want. It's... Okay, these are too small. I shall get the bigger zip ties. You got two sizes. Probably gonna need the small ones for the arms, but the legs are a bit too big. I didn't really think that would be the case, because these are huge. <laughs> don't have that many of them. 
Anyway, so as I was saying, you know, if you're just putting together or painting or whatever, making a reborn for yourself, then just, you know, do whatever. Ah! I'm not getting it in there. Okay. Do whatever makes you happy. So, I like making reborns for myself. I really like making them for my grandma, though, um, because... Oh, shoot, I did it the wrong way. Um, because... Uh, the first doll that we gave her was a Reborn, the Cheyenne kit, and that was actually the first, uh, the first baby Reborn I had ever rebodied. because we got her from this kind of cheapo, uh, artist on Etsy. She was super inexpensive. She actually is pretty good, though. Doesn't have a whole bunch of color, but we don't really, I mean, why did I put that in the arm? What did I just do while I was talking? Oh my goodness. I meant to put that in the leg. I thought something was weird. Okay. Anyways, so we got the Cheyenne from an artist on Etsy, and she gave her the complete wrong body. She gave her, well, firstly she gave her a full-legged body, which was bizarre because it wasn't a full-legged kit, so it made her look very weird. Add that to the fact that her body, I don't know where the heck this person got this body, but the belly stuck out, or the, was it the butt? I don't, I don't know, but part of it was just so disproportionate. It was such a poorly proportioned body. So we replaced it with a bountiful baby body. Not, not like this, not with the gathered butt or the, uh, a gathered chest. Um, it wasn't that fancy, but it uh, it was <laughs> definitely a step up. I kind of want to replace it now with a body that has the uh, those details. I really like these bodies. Okay, first zip tie going on. <sighs> no pressure. So you just put the leg in, you make sure it lines up, don't tighten it too much at this point, actually don't tighten it too much at all when it's a full leg because you want it to, you want it to be able to move around. Did I put it on the wrong side? I did not. Oh, oh my goodness, I didn't even pay attention and I didn't do it wrong. Oh my goodness, that is a miracle. <laughs> I didn't even, I wasn't, I wasn't even paying attention and I still put it on the right side. That is a relief because I was going to have to undo a zip tie and that's no fun. I made a cage for my guinea pigs the other day, um, out of, and you have to, and I used a lot of zip ties to make it, uh, so I kind of got sick of zip ties after that. Okay, so, I like to put the legs on first. There, look at that. Look, you can't even tell it's not stuffed. So it is on right. Okay, I like to put the zip ties on first. I mean the zip ties. I like to do the legs first because I stuff, you know, starting at the bottom. Um, and I want it to um, uh, not fall out. I have stuffed something without legs attached before because I didn't actually have uh, the legs at the time because it's still being painted. It still is being painted. <laughs> Uh, we have a Clover kit. Um, we just ordered a new body for it because I used the body that we got for Clover for Rowan. Because um, that was that was the perfect size. Um, anyways, uh, so I was practicing stuffing it, and it didn't have legs, and it's full a full legged body. So it it was very hard to do. <laughs> I still did it, <laughs> but it wasn't. A fun thing. I'll stuff those butt cheeks. Make sure oh, that's nice. And now the piece de resistance, or however it goes, is the. Now, do I want to use sand? Uh, you know, like I said, I say sand, but I mean. There we go. I say sand, but I mean glass beads. And I have. Plenty. I have two pounds of glass beads. I'm probably well, I could use. Could potentially use that much. Where did I put them? <laughs> oh, I 
just had them. I just showed them to the camera. Oh no, they're under here. Okay, I need to throw something away. Some things from the last glass bead package. Okay. And that is me getting an email. You know what, actually what I normally do is I'll put that over this temporarily. Now the thing is, glass beads are going to leak out of this. It's not fun, but some people use gloves, I guess, Nit nitrile gloves. Um, those don't really have a lot of give or smushiness to them though. So I might try it eventually, but today this is what I have. I do have nitrile gloves, but that doesn't seem, especially with how small this body is, that just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. So my little scissors, I'll cut. So what I do is I put a bit of weight in it to begin with, just enough to weigh it down to the bottom of the body. Um, I have it on the scale, but I'm not weighing it for some reason. It's too late now, but uh, I don't. Uh, I usually just do things by feel. I don't. I don't weigh everything unless I need to know something's even, or if I want to weigh it. I guess under certain circumstances I weigh it, but. All right, so now that we have the spitty weight here, so I normally like to do two things. I like to have a bag of weight in the bottom to, to help them, you know, help the butt weigh, weigh some, help them sit, sit up if that's what I want. But also I like to put a lighter weight in the chest, and it kind of acts as a spine. Okay, so I don't use, where did I put it over here? So I don't use glass beads for that, I use, kind of doomed myself here. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Mistakes have been made. Take that out of there then. So I use something else that I'll show you in a minute. Okay. Alright, so I like to add stuffing as I'm adding the weight. Sorry if you can't see everything very well. I don't have a good filming setup. I really wanted to do this today because I'm very tempted to buy a new Reborn. I shouldn't, but I was hoping putting this one together would make me realize, no, I got, I got this one. It's fine. Because I haven't had a chance to enjoy this one because it hasn't had the right body. Guinea pigs, what are you doing? guinea pigs. They're just being guinea pigs. So each bag of this is about a pound, I think, is what it said. It was forever ago that I bought it. Okay, I think uh, 
body weighs very little compared to the legs. So I think I'm going to experiment and just use this whole pound. Instead of adding the second element of weight, I think I'm just going to use this. I don't like to be able to feel the bag from the outside, so I'm all, I'll often feel around and try to smooth it out as much as I can to It's going to be kind of a heavy baby, but that's fine. Okay, going to have to buy some more weight probably before I put together uh, next Reborn. Because I only have one more pound. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just tie that off. So we use the whole hose and have to cut it. So I don't like to do too tight of a knot in case I want to change later. just a bit so I can add some fluff onto the top. Actually, let's attach the arms now. This is a good point to attach them. I'm going to use the smaller ones for that. that way. So again, you don't want to tighten it too much um, because these are full arms, so you don't want them... I mean, I guess this is just my opinion. I don't know for sure what the general consensus, consensus is, um, but um, they need. I think they need to be able to move a bit. So the nice thing about full arms is that they can be kind of poseable. It's a lot of weight in the arms. I don't know how much I like that. but. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave it. It's fine. Yeah, I didn't weight the arms, so... I could reweight them. But that's a lot of extra work, and my mom is better at helping me with that. Okay, I tightened that a bit much. Whoops. <laughs> It's fine. Alright. So also, it kind of helps to tear up the fluff a bit. I haven't really been doing that, but it helps to keep it from, like, showing that it's, uh... Like, specific 
piles of fluff. So I'm going to go ahead and put the zip tie around the neck because that'll help me know what size the neck is supposed to be. Sorry, it's just kind of hard to find this hole. Okay, is that correct? Nope, we want to go the other way. Oh, don't fall. Okay, remind me again, what way do we want to go? Wait. Now that's the way I was going. Uh, you, it kind of helps to pay attention to the seam. The other things didn't have this, but there's a seam there, and you kind of want to pay attention to what's which side is on top and on the bottom. I don't, I don't really know how to explain that. But it's gonna get hooked on that seam, putting it through. Oh shoot, it doesn't matter. There's a whole bunch of seams. Mistakes have been made. Oh, this always frustrates me so much. No. Okay. Filming again, so. All right, so now we're gonna put the head on. Well, actually, what I was going to do was I was going to tighten the neck a bit so I could see how much space needs filling in. The, the thing is, I did this differently than I've done anything else. There's a whole stocking full of an entire one of these oh, wow. going through the entire body, and that's why it's kind of folding down. But I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's a baby. It's supposed to be laying down. Yeah. If it's all stiff, that's not... Yeah. It does need more stuffing in the chest. some stuffing in the shoulders. Hold the arms up. Yeah, the whole, I didn't reweight the arms or the legs, but the arms are really heavy. Mm. So I feel like they're going to be weighing it down a bit. So should I mention the Patreon page? So we have a Patreon page, and if we reach certain goals, we will get we will do box openings of certain things that will be decided by the Patreons, right? Yes. So I forget what the first goal was, but if we reach a certain if we reach. Was it a stuffed animal? Or well, something? well, a stuffed animal or a doll of. Okay. So basically, each goal we reach will get a toy or collectible up to a, certain amount. Uh, up to a certain amount of money, and that amount will be listed uh, very clearly on the page, uh, that is uh, y'all's choice. Uh, we'll post a poll that is going to be exclusive to the Patreon, so anyone who has contributed uh, gets a say. Um, and. It's just anything you want to see a box opening of, because I know a lot of people like seeing box openings of things so they know whether they want to get it or just to see it. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm really stuffing this up because it, it's weighing it down a lot. Because so. I don't think I did as well with Grandma's doll. Uh, stuffing, I was, was a bit hesitant to overstuff the top. But this is my doll, so I'm not going to be hesitant to, to do that. It looked good, though. She was placed. There we go. What do you think? 
that does look good. It feels pretty good. I don't want to, it, it, it seems good, I'm not going to mess with it. Yeah, okay. The head doesn't have any. No rattles and rolls? Yeah, the legs did a bit, so I added some stuffing. If you want me to hold the head, let me know. No, I think. It's fine? I turned it off. Okay. <laughs> Phone rang, but it's fine. I didn't recognize the number. Yeah. Alrighty. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Everything the right direction? <laughs> Sorry, the lighting's bad, but... Yeah. Oh, the leg, that leg looks like it's gonna fall off. But that's the leg that I thought... Oh no, it was the arm that I tightened too much. Oh, and now I've tightened that one too much, and so now it's not going to move. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that one's a bit loose, though. It's hard to know, because you don't want to tighten it too much, but you don't want to not tighten it enough. Yeah, I don't want it to fall off. All right. That actually looks really good. I, could, I chose a good body. I was worried. When, when I first opened it, I was like, oh, that looks a bit big. That really is good. But. So that's a different one than the one for the elf? Or oh, I don't think I stuffed the back enough. I can feel the bag. Shoot. It's fine. Uh, it is a different one than the elf. Um, than the clover kit, good. as I, oh. I I told them about it. So that's pretty small. Oh, because she's really small. Clover is very small. Uh, I will use that body for Rowan. And Rowan oh, is... Right. Apparently, very tiny ant, so that's the body. Yeah, okay. Not a huge difference. We probably could have used it, but I think that the head is a bit big for, for that. It's the same length, though. Probably a, just an inch or two difference, which Clover is like 16, 16 inches, inch, really and this small. is supposed to be like 18 inches. So okay. yeah, just two well, inches of difference. Yeah. Hopefully Clover will be done soon. Mm -hmm. Probably could have used this body for Rowan. Oh, uh, this a body bit longer. Now. Because this is, we used Clover's body for Rowan. But But Rowan looks good in the one. Well see, Rowan is kind of a disproportionate kit. That's true. So that is true. It's hard to the limbs aren't proportionate with the head. Yeah. It's uh it's kind of weird. Yeah, I can move the legs as long as I work really hard at it. Not gonna really be able to sit up, but let's. No, babies don't have a big range of motion anyway. Yeah. So there you go. And she's a sleeping baby. Yeah. Move that stick. This came in a bag of the polyfill. It is a stuffer a thing. Stuffer. Oh, nice. nice. I need to keep that. Yes, indeed. I um, used that the other day to save my fingers. So to, to I recently discovered that my guinea pig's nail clippers work really well at cutting zip ties. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna worry about filing them down yet. Make sure that I tightened them enough before I cut them. Ow, my nail keeps catching on the body. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of sharp, but... Oh, that arm definitely needs... Okay, better. That arm I tightened too much. That's Blaze. Oh. You can tell them apart now. I can't. That's our baby mice. Okay. There. Nice. Mm, the butt. She's got a little butt. You get a little butt. A little baby butt. You baby butt. Probably should have been more careful putting her together because I forgot she has eyelashes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of them look like they've fallen out, though. Like, this whole half of the eye kind of looks like it's fallen out. And she was not new. Not yeah. Out, so. But the paint job is superb. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to get her dressed, and then we'll stop recording. This yeah, clothes, these hands. clothes aren't going to fit her very well. Oh. It's a bit big. Her little hands are adorable. Are those, is that a preemie? No, this is a newborn. One month, actually. Is she gonna be this is very size? big. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
We'll uh, we'll get some properly sized things. Yeah. This came with her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or at least her shoulder, top of her arms could look good now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really did look pretty good. Well, that's what happens when it's on the wrong body. Oh, her diaper. She came with a diaper. She actually came with several diapers. I'm not sure if I showed... They were in the, the video. Yeah, you watched yeah, the video. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. But this is the diaper she was wearing. It's Skulls. Oh. Yeah. It's cool. Creepy cool. Yes. Sometimes I don't like the dolls with diapers, but... Well... She made it, it the extra bulk because the clothes are too big. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But it changes the feel when you're holding them. So yeah, for some I like it, for some I don't. Some of them seem to need it more than others. Mm -hmm. Baby's drinking water. He's Opal. Oh. Opal's been out. She wants to get out of the cage. Okay. Well, She's well, climbing on the ceiling. <laughs> She's looking at me very reproachfully. That matched the pants that she was wearing Aww. when I got her. There we go. The lighting's really not good. It doesn't show off her beautiful paint. Yeah, she's got well. good, good uh, shading and everything. It creases. And... Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it. So, again, uh, link in the description will be to the Patreon. Link in the description to Instagram. And let us know what videos you want to see that don't involve the big dolls because they are in storage. <laughs> so all the small dolls are not. They will though. be back. Yeah, we just don't have space for them right now. All right, thanks for watching.